There's a charity in the UK called the MNDA and it's, um, it does work in research and support for people suffering with motor neuron disease and um, it's long overdue me organising another event with them because I haven't done one for over, over 18 months I don't think but um, it's the disease that my grandmother died of when I was in my teens and it's a really horrible disease and uh, so that cause is quite close to my heart. I, th I certainly think within smaller communities, underprivileged places, I come from a very uh, working class area in England where uh, opportunities uh, to be certainly in this industry are kind of uh, very shortcoming. So to be here tonight, to be able to bestow uh, a grant on one of these organizations feels very, I'm honored to be here. I always am partial to, and like I said, they're all important, but I'm always partial to uh, organizations that, like the Lollipop, they're will, they will, they going to bring uh, films that are in theaters right now to hospitals for kids that can't leave the hospital. I, I just think that's so touching and so wonderful to, to, to be able to say, you know what, for two hours or three hours, if it's a Tarantino movie, um, we're going to bring this movie, which is a great film, by the way. Did you see that Once Upon a Time in Ho Hollywood? Oh. It's, it's about perfect. It is perfect, yeah. Um, but when you can do that, and it, I mean, that's what we do, right? We entertain and we try to, you know, get people to escape their realities or the peril of their lives, you know, and kind of check out for a minute and have some fun. We're entertainers, right? So that, to me, kind of touches my heart. Uh, well, my foundation, the Yul Gloria Foundation, which helps young Latinas through educational programs and entrepreneur programs to um, really better their futures, to have economic mobility, and just reach their full potential. There's some stuff in England that's that's close to my heart. My, my sister um, has a few learning difficulties and stuff like that so yeah there's some personal things as well um, and also you know I was a young actor um, growing up in Norwich in Norfolk wanting to go off to the National Youth Theatre but it cost money and wanting to do all these things that cost money and I was a product of similar things nowhere near as big as this but regional um, grants and, and things like that which allowed me essentially to be here today so it's it's very important to me yeah yeah without a doubt it's called only make believe and we go into hospitals and we do performances in hospitals uh, you know for children who are in pretty um, difficult circumstances and so you come into a hospital where it can be hard times to say the least and you bring this group of actors and and props and uh, you know hats and like you watch these people these children and these kids and their families and everyone just come to life and I've been a part of it for about 15 years now and gone to the hospitals multiple times I just went recently and performed it's one of the most joyful pieces of acting I've ever been a part of it's electrifying